Hello everyone, this is my model of a virus. I'm going to go over what I used to make it via this wall here, and then I'm going to go over to the model itself to point out the different pieces. Now without further ado, let's get started. For the outer membrane of the virus, I used orange clay. For the outer membrane proteins, which are on the outside of the membrane, I used redstone torches. For netherrack, netherrack I used to make a protein coat which surrounds the genetic material, which I used brick slabs to make. Now, on to the model. The outer membrane is to, pre is to keep out certain things from the outside world that it w lives in and keeps in other certain things. The outer membrane proteins are the mo probably the most important piece of a virus. That is because the outer membrane proteins are what help the virus connect to whatever cell it's trying to infect. And if it doesn't fit, these membranes fit, if they don't fit, if they don't fit into the outer membranes of uh, another cell, like a bacteria or your liver, then it probably means that it's not the right cell. Because certain proteins can only attach themselves to certain cell, to the outside proteins of other cells. That is why strep throat only attacks the throat and mouth, because that's the only place where it can actually get and get a good connection. If we go to the other side, you will see that I have cut the virus in half to show the protein coat and the genetic material. The protein coat is just a, a clump of protein that protects the genetic material. The genetic material is what tells the virus what to do and when the virus attaches itself onto a cell it puts a little bit of its um, genetic material inside that cell causing the cell to make more genet more of the virus and then eventually explode releasing the new virus into whatever host it's infected. Now this virus genetic material is all tangled up and that's there for a reason. In real life, virus genetic material is all tangled up. If you were to take the genetic material and make a straight line out of it, you would get a long linear line of genetic material. Now that was my model of a virus. I really hope you like it. And bye. Bye.